Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is sulfate ion versus sulfate atom. Okay, so let's look at what sulfate is, and then we can decide if it's an ion or an atom. So sulfate has a sulfur right in the middle, and its chemical formula is SO4, two negative. And so if we draw this out, it has the sulfur as its central atom, and it's bonded to four oxygens. And two of those oxygens are double bonded. And two of them are single bonded with a negative charge. This is where the two negative comes from. And so now we're deciding if this is an atom or an ion. And because it has more than one uh, atom in it, it is going to be an ion, not an atom. And so remember, uh, anything that's an atom has to come directly from the periodic table. So if we just had like one hydrogen atom, that's an atom, or one iron, that's an iron atom. Uh, but as soon as we start making bonds and connecting things, that's no longer going to be an atom. That's why we start calling them molecules. Uh, so this is going to be a molecule, not an atom. And it's going to be an ion because it has this negative charge here. Uh, and so remember, an ion is really anything with a, negative, with a charge, and if it has a negative charge, it's an anion. If it has a positive charge, it's a cation. So if we're defining sulfate, we're going to say it's a molecule, we're going to say it's an ion, and specifically we're going to say that it's an anion with a negative two charge. So, I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been Sulfate Atom versus Sulfate Ion.